Hey everybody, Zach here and welcome back to the channel. And finally, we've got some details on the SHIB party, the Shiba Inu virtual party. Uh, Shaitoshi uh, did say that it could be the 20th or 21st. Uh, I think this is a good move actually, and I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, we've got the B word event coming up later uh, here on this same date today, uh, the 21st, but uh, the SHIB party in particular, 3 p.m., I think that's a nice little segue leading up to a bigger conversation about Bitcoin. Uh, Gareth Emery here, I believe this is one of the DJs. Um, don't quote me on that, but I believe it's one of the DJs here. But uh, what do we expect to see at the SHIB party? We're gonna get into some of those uh, you know, areas that we'd like to maybe talk about. I don't know how the event's gonna be held. Is it just gonna be a party? Is there gonna be any time for Q&A? Will there be any kind of information provided related to uh, the, the next steps here after the liquidity event? I think a lot of investors here would like to see some kind of questions answered and also some kind of direction forward. Uh, what do the next few months look like? What, are the next, uh, what does the rest of the year look like even? I think that would be kind of cool. So the virtual ship party live stream at right here, youtube.com slash C slash Satoshi Kusama. And uh, so that is the direct link. It'll take you right to the ship party, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the 21st. And uh, this is really cool. Really exciting, I'm, I'm pretty pumped to see what uh, what happens here. So I just wanna kinda talk at you, you know, right here uh, while I leave this up on screen here for a minute. Then we're gonna take a look at the SHIB price and uh, take a look at the SHIBA swap actually and what that's looking like after the 14 day liquidity event. And uh, yeah, and that'll be this, uh, this entire video. But I want to focus in on, in particular, what could we be seeing today at the SHIB party? I think the first thing we could be seeing is just a celebratory, you know, kind of day, right? Uh, talking about Shiba Swap related to how much is now locked up. Uh, right now it's 1.43 billion at the time of this recording. It's been super successful. I mean, let, let's just address that really quick. You know, uh, the likes of Sushi Swap and Uniswap, uh, it's pretty amazing how much ground Shiba Swap has gained on those two platforms in particular in a very short amount of time, in, in a two week span, right? Whereas Uniswap and Sushi Swap took much, much longer to get a uh, billion dollars locked up into their swap, right? ShibaSwap has done that really quickly, okay? And uh, I think that'll be, you know, topic of discussion. Uh, that'll be a huge topic of discussion, probably, you know, a lead uh, in terms of this event. Now, what else can we expect to see here? I think, uh, I, personally, what I want to hear most about is Shibarium and its impact on the Shiba Inu coin and the entire Shiba Inu ecosystem. Shibarium is that layer two solution that is potentially going to be um, provided to the ecosystem by Polygon. It will allow for you know, faster transaction speeds, scalability. Everything Polygon does for Ethereum, uh, it could be doing for SHIB too, because SHIB is an ERC20 token, right? So Shibarium, uh, but the other thing we also know here, and this is why I think they might address this today, the native token on Shibarium will be Bone. A lot of people now earning bone through the reward system, and a lot of people want to know, you know, how they can also uh, how this all ties into the future ecosystem. So I think Shibarium should be a big topic of discussion. And again, I don't know if there's going to be some kind of Q and A here, some kind of um, AMA, Ask Me Anything event from the investor standpoint. We'll have to wait and see. So that is one area where I'm hoping to see more information on. And another is the 14 day liquidity event. Now that Shiba Swap is through that time period, what do the rewards look like? And I think we'll get some kind of indication as to, you know, what the rewards look like after the 14 day liquidity event. And, uh, you know, what is the future of the reward system now that the 14 day period is over? Again, this was kind of an anomaly this first 14 days where the rewards were a lot higher than they're going to be in uh, the future. However, um, I think we, you know, would all, would all like some more insight and information on that related to what the future looks like. So the other thing I think they could hit on and maybe perhaps they do is the treat token. So this is going to be the fourth token added to the asset. And this is one that they said they're going to work on quickly after the liquidity event. So I, I'm guessing we're going to hear about the treat token, Shibarium, and kind of tie it in there, the 14 day liquidity event for ShibaSwap. Now the other couple that I hope they hit on, and we, we don't know because these may be a little bit further down the road and or out of their control, uh, but the one is the SHI token, which is the stable coin. Now, 
Interestingly enough, with stable coins, I don't know if you've heard in the news recently that the uh, government here in the U.S. may be trying to create their own sort of stable coin and they don't want uh, others using other stable coins. Um, and that could be a good and a bad thing. Uh, obviously, I think there's pros and cons of that, but maybe with that news swirling, maybe they don't necessarily talk about their own stable coin as much, the SHE token. That is one that they've addressed in the Wolf paper. They've talked about it as being you know, a future asset they would like to add. That would be the fifth asset, right? Because we've got uh, SHIB, we've got uh, LEASH, uh, bone, then it would be treat, and, and then the she, S-H-I, token. Uh, so maybe they hit on that, maybe they don't. Chances are probably not, given the you know news swirling around it right now. And then the last thing that I hope they hit on uh, would be exchanges, right? If they gave us some kind of insight, and uh, oh yeah, at the time of this recording, Bitcoin is up to 31,361. It is uh, storming ahead right now. Um, but exchanges, right, especially on Coinbase, right? This would be a big update if we got something related to Coinbase Pro. Now, there is perhaps a chance that the dev team and Shaitoshi know something about Coinbase Pro that we don't. Um, maybe, you know, they give us some kind of timeline that, hey, we, we've talked to Coinbase Pro, this is what they're working on. Uh, that would be fantastic, but I, I, I'm not gonna bet that we get that information. Same could be said for eToro, Robinhood, Webull, I doubt we get any information because those exchanges tend to just kind of act on their own terms and, and do things their own way, right? Because uh, they are really large platforms, but uh, maybe we get some insight there. That would be kind of cool and uh, would not uh, would not hate it if we did. So uh, I mentioned SHIB, the price is back up. It's at the 633 level and we can see big green candlestick here this morning bouncing off these five, eight levels. We never did reach that final level of support at 5.5. So, you know, we talked a lot yesterday when this thing dips below the 06 level, these are great opportunities to get back in or add on to your position. Well, here we are, the market's coming back, Bitcoin's coming back, look what happens to SHIB. It also comes back with it. As we know, as the market goes uh, green, uh, these altcoins follow. So Bitcoin is up about three, 4%, SHIB's up about seven or 8%. That's another thing we've talked about uh, usually doubles in, in, in either direction, right? Either the markets, uh, when the market's going up or down. So um, really liking where we're heading right now ahead of the B word event. I think there is a lot of um, people, especially on the institutional side, uh, rushing back in ahead of this big event. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on. So just, you know, keep your eyes peeled and uh, stay in the know. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do the best I can to give you the information I have related to the B word event, uh, future regulation, stablecoin information going on. Uh, a lot going on in the crypto space right now. But um, yeah, and, and here in this update, just wanted to kind of focus in on the virtual party because it uh, should be a lot of fun. And uh, it's cool that we have a date set and uh, we're all ready to go with that. So hopefully you got some value. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, also down in the description, there's a join button. You can join uh, our channel right here. You can learn a little bit more about that by checking out that link and uh, our private Discord Patreon communities down there too. So um, I'm going to get up on out of here. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.